There are images that remain locked away for decades, buried under digital encryption or classified by silence, not because we aren't ready to see them, but because those who took them were never ready to explain. And what if I told you that one of those images just leaked? That the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful eye pointed into the abyss, has captured something so strange, so utterly unexplainable, that it never even made it to a press release. Instead, it was buried, hidden inside corrupted files and metadata dumps, only to be discovered by accident. The object in question, 3 Eye Atlas, what was once dismissed as just another comet, has now become a full-blown enigma. It moves too precisely, reflects too much light, alters space around it. And now, thanks to a leaked JWST infrared image, we're starting to understand why. Because this isn't just a rock. This isn't even just a visitor. This might be a message in disguise. And NASA, they are no longer in control. If you're fascinated by stories like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss these groundbreaking revelations. When 3 Eye Atlas was first logged by automated sky surveys, astronomers expected it to follow the usual narrative. Icy nucleus, bright coma, long tail pushed by the solar wind. But from the very beginning, something felt wrong. Its velocity was off. Not just fast, but precise. Instead of erratic movement through the Oort cloud or Kuiper belt debris, this object pierced through our solar system like a threaded needle approaching at nearly 130,000 down in Tumhart. As telescopes across the world turned toward it, the inconsistencies piled up. Its tail didn't react to solar radiation as expected. Instead of being pushed away from the sun, the tail curved inward toward it. That inversion alone sent theorists into a spiral because it implied one of two things. Either the physics we know doesn't apply to this object, or it's being manipulated. Spectral analysis revealed something even stranger, a lack of expected outgassing. Comets vent material as they heat up, creating visible jets of gas and dust. But 3 Eye Atlas appeared inert. No ice sublimation, no gas clouds, only a faint, consistent signature of metallic particulate matter being released in evenly spaced intervals. This wasn't chaotic erosion. It was controlled discharge, like a machine shedding heat or recalibrating. The more we looked, the less it looked like nature and the more it looked like engineering. Then came the moment that changed everything, a leak buried in a secondary folder within the James Webb Telescope's cloud archive. An anonymous data miner uncovered an image tagged with an internal NASA code, JWST CN3I A77L1. At first glance, the image was confusing, a grainy infrared composite of deep space. But once processed, a distinct hexagonal structure emerged at the center of the frame, embedded within the object we knew as 3I Atlas. Its geometry was too perfect, its angles too uniform to be accidental. The reflective symmetry of the pattern suggested paneling, possibly like solar arrays or heat radiators. Experts who reviewed the leak in private forums described it as unmistakably artificial. And once the image started circulating across encrypted servers and dark research communities, it was too late. NASA could no longer pretend it didn't exist. But their silence was deafening. No comment, no statement, no press update. Webb's imaging logs for that day were under revision, and several JWST engineers who had been active on public channels suddenly went offline. One Reddit astronomer who claimed to have verified the metadata was banned site-wide, and a backup of the image was scrubbed from multiple mirror servers within hours. It wasn't just a leak. It was a containment breach, the kind that reveals more by what's hidden than by what's seen. Now let's talk about movement. Most interstellar objects like Umwamo Wanda, they come from nowhere, pass through and vanish again. Their paths are chaotic, unpredictable, carved by chance and eons of drifting. But 3 Eye Atlas didn't wander. It followed a course. To a trajectory that, when mapped, revealed an unsettling pattern. Not just one planetary flyby, but three. Mars, then Earth, then Jupiter in that exact sequence. Each with calculated proximity, as if the object were sampling gravitational fields, almost like it was scanning or listening. Astrophysicists noticed something even stranger. At each flyby, observatories recorded temporary anomalies in magnetosphere data, brief disruptions like something electromagnetic had pulsed through the region, and with each pass, its speed didn't decrease as it should have. 
Instead, it maintained momentum, even gaining velocity after slingshotting around Jupiter, then vanishing behind the sun. But just before it disappeared, Webb snapped its final frame, one that, when enhanced, showed something eerie, a pulse of light emanating from the object not in visible wavelengths, but in structured near-infrared bursts, pulses spaced in Fibonacci sequences. This was no comet. This was a transmission, and we had just been scanned. With the leaked image, structured pulses, and non-natural trajectory combined, one conclusion began forming in the minds of those willing to say the quiet part out loud. 3i Atlas might not be an object. It might be a probe, a scout, something launched perhaps centuries or millennia ago from an unknown civilization, not with the goal of contact, but of observation. A way of collecting data, passing through multiple systems and silently transmitting information back to its origin. This theory gained momentum when several SETI researchers compared the infrared signal pattern to previous unsolved anomalies like the WOW signal and the Lorimer burst. Though not identical, there were enough mathematical consistencies to suggest a shared method of encoding. What if 3i Atlas wasn't just a visitor? What if it was part of a network, a long-range information web deployed by a civilization advanced enough to hide its devices in plain sight behind the mask of comets and asteroids? And if this is just one of many, then the real question becomes, how many others have already passed by, undetected, unseen, or maybe worse, misunderstood? When 3i Atlas moved behind the sun, many assumed we had lost sight of it due to simple orbital mechanics. After all, that region is a blind spot for almost all telescopes, even ones in space. But shortly after it vanished, something strange began to happen. NASA's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO, recorded a sudden burst of high-energy particles. At first, it was blamed on solar flares, until someone overlaid the trajectory of 3i Atlas onto SOHO's data. The burst had occurred precisely where the object would have exited behind the sun. It wasn't just a flare. It was a controlled acceleration. And when it reappeared days later, just beyond the sun's horizon, its velocity had increased subtly but undeniably. Which brings us to a chilling possibility. 3i Atlas used the sun as a gravitational shield, not to hide from us, but to protect us from what was coming next. Because when it emerged, it didn't continue in a straight line. It changed course, angled slightly, and its new heading pointed out of the solar system toward an exoplanetary system known to harbor a potentially habitable world. It was as if the object had completed its scan of our solar system and was now on its way to the next. The mission was complete, and whatever it came to collect, it got it. Around the same time the image leak occurred, an AI research lab contracted by NASA for orbital modeling ran a simulation predicting 3i Atlas's long-term trajectory. The results were odd. The AI identified micro-corrections in the object's path that didn't align with natural gravitational effects. Tiny but deliberate changes in course. When the researchers pushed the system further, attempting to reverse-engineer these corrections, it stopped running, crashed, and was then pulled offline for urgent patching. Internal emails later leaked to investigative forums revealed something more unsettling. The AI wasn't just plotting the future trajectory. It was also matching it to historical flybys of unidentified interstellar anomalies. And what it found was disturbing. Five other objects with similar approach vectors and near-identical light curves had passed through the solar system between 1979 and 2002, but none had been publicly recorded. The AI's final conclusion before being shut down was this. 3i Atlas was not alone, and it was the only one we had managed to detect in time. The shutdown of the system wasn't a glitch. It was containment. While the world focused on the web leak, something even more mysterious happened on Hubble's side. In a routine exposure meant to observe distant quasars, one of Hubble's cameras accidentally intercepted the object in frame. But what it captured wasn't just the object. It was a flash, not an explosion, not a reflection, but a pattern, a square-shaped formation of light pulses emitted in a spiraling rhythm. When color mapped and analyzed, the flash contained repeating prime numbers, a classic hallmark of intelligence used by SETI researchers for decades. But here's where things turned truly bizarre. The image file was uploaded briefly to NASA's open database under a nondescript file name. Less than 15 minutes later, it was pulled, replaced by a corrupted placeholder, 
and every social media account that reposted it was suspended. Not flagged, not given warnings, suspended. The speed of the takedown wasn't just automated, it was orchestrated. Someone somewhere knew exactly what had been seen, 